10,000 is a pretty big number. If you translate that number to cubes, you get a big cube. But if you translate these cubes to people, you get cube people. What does 10,000 look like? Oh, 10,000. What I'm trying to say is that 10,000 is a pretty big number. Wait, I already said that fu- But why am I talking about the number 10,000 so much? <coughs> there isn't- <coughs> Actually, I lied. There is a reason. Uh, a pretty big reason. Uh, almost as big as 10,000. I recently surpassed 10,000 subscribers. 10,000 subscribers. 10,000 people with lives, friends, family, who looked upon my content and thought to press that one button and follow me on my YouTube journey. Either that, or it's a stalker of mine with 10,000 alt accounts, but who knows. I honestly can't fathom that many people watching me. It's really insane to me, and I thank each and every one of you for being interested in what I do, and to sort of give back. Here, hold this. I thought I'd do a little 10,000 subscriber special, but not gonna lie though, it was quite hard thinking of things to cover, as I wasn't really sure if I wanted to do what I've always done and talk about some piece of media or do something different. But then I thought, I've come such a long way in my YouTube journey, it might be interesting to look back and see where I started, and that's what I'll be doing. I'll be talking about some old content of mine before this channel, the creation and evolution of the name and character of Gochis, as well as talking about the future, which will be interesting. So, without further ado, let's dive into the anatomy of Gochis. So, starting around 2018, when I was just 11 years old, I would start my own YouTube channel for the very first time. I can't quite remember my first channel's title, but I do remember rebranding the shit out of it constantly. I remember I had a bunch of different avatars and characters representing me around this time, from the Super Mario Goomba, to the Team Fortress 2 engineer, to even a Portal 1 core. Kill yourself. Despite me never playing any of those games back then. But eventually I'd come up with the name Saltoff and start making Let's Play videos. What's up going guys? My name's Saltoff and today we are playing Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2 Part 2. Now um I think in this episode But why the name Saltoff? <laughs> I have no idea! I had this channel for a good while before I decided that I wanted to delete it and start again for some reason. However, in trying to do so, my stupid kid self accidentally deleted the Google account attached to the YouTube channel rather than the channel itself. So now I can't even access the channel, never mind delete it. So now Saltoff's just stuck, doomed to be on the internet forever. And I've come to terms with it. This channel is such a funny little time capsule of myself in the late 2010s. Everything shown in these videos has completely changed my voice. And I mean a lot, because there's a lot of games on both the Nintendo 64 and PS4, which ironically they both have four in. <laughs> <coughs> my understanding of technology, my personality, probably, and even the very room I recorded those videos in. It's always fun to go back and watch some of these videos, and there's some good memories here too, like the time I became Thanos in Fortnite. Oh yes! <laughs> I want to kill somebody! Jump! Yes, mighty England! Destroy! <laughs> that sounds like a family guy cutaway. Laurish, remember the time I was Thanos in Fortnite? <laughs> <laughs> this channel is probably really cringy to some, and it was to me for a while, but nowadays it definitely has a special place in my heart, and now marks the beginning of my content creator journey here on YouTube. But I didn't just go straight to Gochis after this, oh no, I actually made another channel. I have no idea when this was like a thing, as I actually did successfully delete this one along with all its videos, but I do roughly remember it being before Gochis and after Saltoff. The channel was initially going to be called Bleach, spelt with two threes instead of an E and an A, but I must have broken my hand on my keyboard or something because I actually spelt it with an S instead of a C. <laughs> That's right, Bleach. I'm so good at making up names. Yeah, so this was basically like a commentary style channel in the vein of Leafy and Meaningless, edited not with 
with any fancy software that I use now, but instead with <laughs> Windows Movie Editor, because I was broke, I guess, I don't know. I don't know if it's been updated since I used it, but around the time I was using it, it was a really primitive piece of software, basically only allowing you to splice videos and photos together. No background music, images on top of images, GIFs, or anything. But I somehow made it work and uploaded a multitude of videos with this software. I remember at the time, I was especially proud of a video I made talking about furry cringe and how it had surpassed over a hundred views, the highest I'd ever seen up till then. <laughs> if only Bleach could see the heights I'd reach today. Oh wait, he can. He's me. But alas, I ended up deleting this channel and there's little to no remnant of it today. Oh, apart from this. Yeah, I remember I used to use this cat picture a lot in my videos in order to represent someone asking a rhetorical question, which in reality I'd be just asking myself, if that makes any sense. I've explained it really badly, but many YouTube people have this sort of archetype in their videos, and this was my rendition of that at the time. But when I deleted the Belish channel, I soon deleted all of the assets I used in my videos to free up space on my computer, which meant I lost that cat picture. I mean, until I found it again. Yeah, so I somehow stumbled upon the picture again whilst browsing Google Images when I was making my Rayman video, and you can actually see it in that video, as well as in some others, once again filling the same archetype it did years ago. I even gave him a name, Bruno Cars. <laughs> I don't know, it sounded funny at the time. But yeah, I'm so happy to have found this guy again, and I'll be sure to include him in some later videos of mine, partly as a memento to that old channel of mine. And after I was done with that channel, I would then take a large break from trying to be a content creator, which was then when Gochi started to become a thing. Just like every great origin story ever told, we start on Discord. Think the age of consent should be 13 years. Yeah, when I wasn't doing YouTube, I would often just explore random servers on Discord and meet different people. I would experiment with a bunch of different names and characters to represent myself around this time, as nothing really stuck for long. If I remember correctly, I think one of these characters was basically just Oswald the Lucky Rabbit from, well, Disney with a fucking fedora on his head, with the username alongside it being Jeeves. To say the least, I'm so incredibly glad that didn't stick, but whilst I was thinking of yet another name and avatar, I got a random core memory. One time, as a kid, when I was visiting a farm park, which are essentially just farms with amusements and stuff like that in the UK, I got the opportunity to milk a goat. For some reason, at the time of me remembering this, I decided to base my next name off of that memory. I also wanted to have a character along with this name, and at the time I thought the goat monster species from Undertale had a cool design, so those two things really went hand in hand. This was my first profile picture on Discord that had an Undertale goat monster character in it, first created in September of 2020. At the time of me using this picture, I don't think I was actually called Goat Cheese, but instead Galaxy Goat or something like that, hence the space background. This picture was, believe it or not, actually made in Scratch. You know, the, the, the code block thing? I guess because I used to use that site a lot. I think I also traced this art from some Undertale fan art, um, I, I guess because I was evil at the time. Later down the line, I would make the Goat character slash avatar thing a bit more fleshed out and individual from its Undertale inspiration, and so? I came up with this design, also done in Scratch around 2020. I also believe I finally stuck with the name Gochi is around this time as well. There's also a Halloween variant of this design. Eventually I would make a more stylized iteration of this character, which for some reason people I knew at the time called Goth Cheese. That I, I don't know why. Um, one of life's greatest mysteries. This version even had a YouTube banner made alongside it. I guess I was still thinking about doing YouTube back then. Sadly though, it didn't last long, this being the last iteration of that weird beta goat cheese design. This would actually be the last original character type thing I would do for a while, as I'd then just stick to using random images for profile pictures. That was until I had this profile picture in 2022 it depicting Rousey from Deltarune with a beer that I had edited in for some reason. Someone has been in my room and taken my beers away from my room. I would later edit the image further, I suppose for the extra funny factor, and continue to use it until 2023. Weirdly enough, this profile picture would actually pave the way for the future of goat cheese in quite a significant way. During some time in 2023, and due to some friends of mine at the time creating their own original characters to use online, I decided 
decided to delve back into making my own character again. This time I went to someone on Fiverr known as I'm a Croquette, who sadly isn't on Fiverr anymore to my knowledge. Uh, rest in peace. And commissioned them to create an original character out of my last profile picture. This is actually where the goat cheese character still originates from, and I've used it in videos ever since I got it. I loved the first commission so much at the time, I decided to commission I'm a Croquette again, this time asking for a more stylized profile picture, which I also use on my channel. I also had another Halloween profile picture around this time, although it was just some art of Rouser, not an actual commission. A million views. At this point, Rocky, I gotta congratulate you because with my channel, I probably will never get numbers like that, and I doubt many other channels will. Since then, it's been these three profile pictures, and I've loved having them. They're really good pieces of art, and the whole process of commissioning and receiving them was such an exciting experience, as I had never really done anything like that before. However, now in the year of our Lord, 2024, I feel it's time for a change. Uh, I'm changing! Uh, the full moon! Uh. <coughs> Hello. What? Now, I know this is quite a big change. Okay. But I've wanted to do this for a while, as I began to have a lot of gripes with the goat cheese character design. To start with, I wanted something I made myself. I am able to draw to a decent degree, but I was never able to replicate the mastery of the commissioned works, and so I used them instead. However, I felt this wasn't quite right. YouTube is all about expressing yourself, broadcasting yourself, so the fact that I was choosing not to draw my own character on my own YouTube channel felt like I was doing a disservice to that notion. I also wanted multiple stills of the goat cheese character, but didn't want to pay large sums of money to commission a bunch of different poses. And not to mention, I'm a Croquette isn't on Fiverr anymore, so I couldn't even if I wanted to. I also just felt that the current goat cheese design just didn't really fit me as a person. The character is bold, and I have a full head of hair. The profile picture's pose is based off of Patrick Bateman from American Psycho, and I am no Sigma man. <laughs> There was a clear dissonance between this character I had made and who I was as a person, and so I wanted to revamp the character in a way that represented me better. I actually went through a lot of different iterations and takes, some of which go as far back as November 2023, but I think I came to the right conclusion. I wanted something that was easy to draw, recognisable, simple in both design and colour usage, as well as something that came off as a lot more relaxed and softer than the Mr. Epic Sligma Male Owns the Libs the Third. I hope you guys like this design and while I know that it's quite the switch up, I hope that you at least understand why I chose to redesign the Gochi's character in the first place. Speaking of you guys, I just wanted to take a moment to sincerely thank you for all the support and attention I've received with this channel. As you've seen in this video, YouTube has been a bit of a thing I've always wanted to have a go at, so seeing now how well my channel's doing is honestly amazing, and I want to thank each and every one of you for making that happen. I won't be deleting this one anytime soon. It's almost like it's own horror game. You can't hide, you can't hide 2000. So, and since its pilot was uh, published onto <laughs> the game erupts into laughter. Avatar type character, I thought that would be good for the video. And just breathe it all in, because it really does deserve your attention. And so, to thank all of you guys, I wanted to take a moment to list off some of my favourite comments that I've received over my time. These aren't all of them, but these are just some of the highlights. Askumba number three. Cutty, Travis Scott, dropping today. Great video. Keep up the great work, Professor Cheese. Goat Cheese is too underrated for society itself. Yes, let's go. Haluva boss. I've just put this here as the ambassador for literally all the comments I've gone that just basically highlighted how I mispronounce hell of a boss. And I'm still gonna pronounce it Haluva boss. You, you, you can't stop me. You, you can't stop me. Motherfuckers will just write, record, and edit video essays about. About anything these days. I, I, I mean, yes. Oh my god, is that a motherfucking Half Life reference? Half Life is the greatest video game ever made. Valve is the best studio ever. On a rail, on a rail, on a rail. Red Letter Day is impossible. Red Letter Day is impossible. Red Letter Day is impossible. Oh, you're a Half Life fan? 
Name every SDK entity. One, two, redacted. Water hazard is the best chapter. My physics teacher mentioned Half-Life. I met a guy who said he was German. More like G-Man, am I right? Gordon Ramsay? <laughs> Don't you mean Gordon Freeman? Galanga, 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 galanga. Did you know that Corpse 01 is a real dead body? I fucked up Magnuson's casserole. Stop fucking with the microwave. Pick up that can. Gay sex with Barney. Gay sex with Barney. Oh, I'm, I, I've gotten lightheaded just from reading all of that. <laughs> you know, Rocky Raccoon is kind of like Charles Manson. <laughs> Both are clearly insane people. They use titles that are the name of Beatles songs off the White Album, Rocky Raccoon, Helter Skelter. There's videos of them dancing, and both have an X on their head. And I like this one. This one's uh, this one's short, but sweet. Um, Poo stains all over. Betty and the Dink Machine. It's not a remake of Bam Bam the Gum. Is it own thing you say the creator? I'm waiting, bro. <laughs> okay, so the timestamp here is kind of, it's at the point where I'm talking about the weird shit Rocky Raccoon has on his Twitter, and I have like text on screen saying like, I'm not gonna show it for obvious reasons, but it's basically highlighting the fact that I mistyped it, so it says I'm gonna show it for obvious reasons. <laughs> I think that's the worst typo I've ever made in my life. Where's the Subway Surfers gameplay? <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, Jen, this sound sounds like Golden Freddy from FNAF being his meat. Again, this is an ambassador for all the comments I've got, which basically say the same thing. I didn't think of that when I heard the sound effect and used it in the video. Um, <laughs> my bad. Simon Henriksen mentioned, says Simon Henriksen. Oh, this isn't about the Beatles song. Oh well. So what you're saying is, Batman, Bro is going to the deepest parts of hell. You're the one here wearing an animal suit. Just waiting for him to appear to start crying in the comments. Any second now. Guys, it's me, Rocky Raccoon. Oh, I'm so sorry, I'm a goon. Hey, Rocky Raccoon. No, wait, that's a different user. So, we still have problem. Big problem. All right. Who's ready? <laughs> Who's ready to go find this dude? Right behind you. Nah, I gotta do the- I gotta do the Rocky Raccoon voice. Right behind you. Smash, next question. Ain't no way, bro. If there's a will, there's a way. And I'm in the... <laughs> flussy all day. Look at this and tell me there is a god. It's too late, goat. I already drew you as the twink loser and myself as the chad one. <laughs> okay, and now this is my favorite comment of all time. You puny earthling. Don't ever... Let my radar detect your heat signature, or I will have to anally probe you. <laughs> no, 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 yes. this is the icing on the cake. It says, Skibbity come Lord 22. I, oh god. Thank you so much for whoever commented that. Thank you so much. And that was the end of the video. Uh, sorry if I sound a bit different. Um, my nose is a bit plugged at the moment. So, uh, yeah, that's cool. But anyway, um, hope you enjoyed this video. And, um, yeah, sorry it kind of took a while to come out. I was originally envisioning this video to be more like a small side video, just to tie people over into a, a bigger upload. But this kind of just turned into the main video. So, yeah, I uh, hope you liked it, though. And I also hope you like the, uh, the new Gochi's redesign. Yeah, let me know what you think about that. I'll have to see. Uh, people's reactions of it, you know, if you liked it or you hate it, you know, and I know I've said it a bunch of times in this video, but thank you for 10,000 subscribers again. That is, that number is just unreal to me. But yeah, thank you so much for uh, supporting me. Yeah, I hope I can continue to make these videos. Um, I, I, I want to try and make my videos better and better, you know, sort of thing. I, yeah, I just have a bunch of, I just want to do a bunch of cool stuff in the future and you guys are kind of helping along that way. So, yeah, thank you so much. You guys are honestly brilliant. I just thought I'd take a moment just to plug my socials. I have a Twitter if you want to contact me there. I also have a Discord server, the link in description, where you can get more frequent updates on videos and what I'm doing. You can talk with the community and you can look at all the art that people post. That's all really cool. Um, speaking of which, I just wanted to say um, thank you guys so much for uh, all the fan art that um, you guys have made. It's honestly crazy. I, I love fan art to bits. I think it's amazing. If you have fan art or if you want to make fan art and send it to me, um, you can at me on Twitter or you can at me in my Discord server just <laughs> with the picture or something like that. And I also want to try like show off the art as much as I can. You know, when I do live streams, because I do live streams on this channel, when I do live streams, I have a little slideshow in the corner that, that just shows off all the fan art and the people who made its handles and stuff like that. And um, I also want to try um, show off fan art and community posts as well when I receive it. So yeah, that would be cool as well. Moving on to more socials. Um, 
I have recently started a second channel that will just basically be me uh, rambling. It's not a slop channel, so I won't be talking about Mr. Beast or anything like that, thank god. It will just be me talking about little topics and things I want to talk about that don't really fit into main channel goat cheese videos. And I'll also be posting a lot more frequently on the uh, second channel. If you want more goat cheese, want more frequent goat cheese videos, uh, check out the second channel, uh, link in description. And also, just the final thing, I recently started a group channel with my good friends Berkey, Tempates, and Tumbleweed. It's just mainly like us playing games together, and they usually end up being quite good. So yeah, um, link in description for that channel as well. I don't think there's much else I need to say. Oh, I have an outro now, so uh, I hope you like that outro. Um, but anyway, that's enough from me. Thank you for watching.